In this video you can see how to create a simple component by using the component wizard. Start the wizard by clicking this icon here and here you can go in and see that you can either create a new one or copy of one and edit an existing one. I'm going to uh, make a new one and it's uh, got article number 2 and it could have type number 2 as well. This component here belongs to the component group called 2250, contactors, thermal relays, etc. So I'll click that, select that one, I cannot type it, I need to select it, and then I can go in here. If I, I make components, I should go up and select the designation character here, because that will make sure that you get the correct designation character in front of the component. And then you choose the symbols. Symbols are chosen here, and because there are very, very many components in this component group, it takes some time. But here comes all the symbols, electrical diagram symbols, that belong to this component group. There are many, too many to to make sense uh, to go through. So instead of setting, uh, instead of just going through, I would set a filter based on manufacturer, and uh, I would go down and select manufacturer called uh, PCS, and in that way I get only the simple connect uh, com combinations that are relevant uh, with with this uh, one manufacturer here. Then I can go down and say I want to make a component that uh, uses uh, those uh, symbols here. So simply double click and then all symbols from this component will be here. And you can see there's a relay, A1, A2, there's a three pole contactor, there's a, a make contact and a break contact and it's got all the, the right uh, term, uh, connection points and everything is very very nice. And you could, as you saw in one of the other videos, if you had one more contact you could copy this one and you could edit the, the connection names if you needed to because you have all those options in here. Then you can click the next and I don't want to choose a symbol from the database because it takes too much time but I could go in and, and make a, a generated mechanical symbols and say that my component here could be like 40 wide and 70 um, uh, tall and then give it this designation character too and this would be what it looked like uh, in, 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 really, uh, in, in, in real time. Um, I could add uh, connections and I could edit the symbols and all that what you can see in in the videos about symbol design and then uh, go in and select it and place it here or you could go in and yeah whatever so when you've selected this uh, mechanical symbol go in next you can select a single line sil uh, symbol for this uh, contactor I don't want to do that and again you can go in here and type in uh, a, a lot of data on this component don't want to do it but this is what you can and when you've finished all of this component database number two is here and you can see everything works exactly the same way as all other components the show available window works uh, and you can simply place all the symbols for this component in your diagrams in this video you can see how to use a component wizard to create a very simple component. Start the component wizard here and uh, select to make a new component. I want to make a new component. I'll give it an article number 2. I could uh, give it a type T2 and then that would be R2 and then I select the table code for the component I'm going to make. I'm going to make a uh, contactor which belongs into this group of components and um, then I click OK. I cannot type the number, I need to browse and find it. So I go to the next here and then I could go in and select the um, what do I call the designation character here and uh, I could go out and choose the symbols that I need for the component by clicking this one. So click here and it takes a long time for it to open all the various symbols simply because 
there are lots of components in this component group in the database. So I think that somewhere uh, it's ready. Here are all the symbols that belong to this component group. Here you can see the table code is 2250, contact us, thermal relays, etc. And uh, I have a lot of symbols here. That's too many. So I can go in and set another filter, which could be manufacturer. And I think I'll just use this PCS. And then it will filter out everything that's not from PCS. And then you can see that the symbol choices or symbol combinations that we have for components in this group look like this. And what I can do then is to go in and say, ah, the component I'm going to, to make is something that looks like this one. So I'll click one of the uh, symbols here. And what I have is everything from the component uh, that comes in here. And when I click this one, you can see that the names for it is A1, A2, this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, 14, 21, 22. So what I get in this way is all symbols that belong to this component. When I click the next, I could go out and select uh, the mechanical symbols. Again, go to the database. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> But now, now, now I did it. Or I could uh, copy a symbol. I could generate one. Um, I hope that it will come up very, very soon. Ah, that takes time. Nope. Yes. And we will go 